Hi right, guys, I have another PC update vlog. I was gonna do one a few months ago, like around Christmas time, because I had new Corsair fans, RGB fans, and all that stuff. I installed them, I even shot some video, but I could not get it working. I have the Corsair Commander Pro, linking all the fans together. I tried so much trial and error, tech support and stuff, and nothing. So they said, well, why don't you send it back? And I, I'm pretty sure I bought them last year, like 2016 as well, and they didn't work, or one worked. Tried 2017, only got one to work. Tried so much support. <sighs> and Corsair just keeps putting out more and more different software to try and control our, all their shit. It was like Corsair Utility, then Corsair Link, and now they have IQ in beta. I'm just getting tired of that. I still have one fan. I, I uh, took back some of the fans because they wanted me to ship it back at my cost while it was still under warranty. And so I shipped back those, got my money back. I still have one fan. I was going to put it right here because I could only get one fan to work with RGB. And then these Corsair fans, because they're Corsair RGB fans, I also have Corsair uh, radiator, CPU cooler, and... Corsair RAM. Those are the only Corsair things I have and you know my hat. So I'm not a huge Corsair fan, but that's just it. But these were freaking making that horrible noise when spinning. This one, that kind of doesn't. But I don't know. Maybe I didn't have them tight enough. Maybe I had them too tight. I don't know what the hell was wrong with it. Look, at low uh, fan speeds, high fan speeds, no matter what, it would just make this ugly, ugly noise. I tried cleaning it, but I haven't started it since I cleaned it. So maybe I fixed it, but just last night I did the whole CPU uh, thermal compound switch. So you guys probably saw that video before. All right, so now I'm probably gonna put these RGB fans back in the front, put the Corsair RGB fan back here. I doubt I can get it uh, running, you know, the, the color. I can get the fans running. I can't get the color running because I don't have that particular hub anymore. And with the thermal tape RGB fans, it has had its own hub as well. Always have to have all the proprietary bullshit. So I got my Cooler Master case, super modular. So I took out the front uh, cage right here. Oh yeah, and I also have Corsair keyboard and uh, mouse. Um, oh wait, no, not, not mouse, Logitech mouse, Corsair keyboard. Anyways. Took out the case that had my uh, optical drive in it. It's actually a Blu-ray drive, not just DVD. And I have a Blu-ray program. It's just taking up too much room and it was messing with the radiator and it was just annoying me. So I took that out, took out the other hard drive cage. Gonna put the uh, RGB strip right here. Um, put the thermal take fans over here. Corsair fan right here. Put regular 120 millimeter fans back here. These are the only 120 millimeter fans I have, so they're the only fans that can fit until I get some more 120 millimeter new fans that don't make this ugly ass noise. Uh, so I have an MSI motherboard and graphics processor, but when I was kind of cleaning this out and moving stuff around, I kind of like leaned on the graphics card and I heard it kind of crunch, like when you put on your CPU in the motherboard the first time. So I was like, fuck, because that shit is like $700. This is like the most expensive part in my entire build. So I haven't started it since I leaned on it. Hopefully it's all good. It should still be on a warranty. I don't know if the warranty would cover that, but I'm going to try and put this back together and maybe do a little bit of cable management. I should be doing homework, should be doing. But my mind is just, it's not in the mood for reading right now. So I'm just gonna fix this up and then see where we go from there. Okay, so you might be thinking, what the hell did you do? <laughs> so I was just, you know, I was just really into the modularness of this case. And so I thought maybe I can move some stuff around and started putting up or taking out my drive cage, my hard drive cage, not the, you know, other drive cage. And I was wondering like where I could put my uh, radiator. Could I put my radiator right here? But it just, I think I need a bigger radiator to go in the front. This one's too small. So I'm just going to keep it up top. 
put uh, my thermal tape fans right here again. Maybe three fans instead of just two. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna rearrange this a little bit more and clean it out, of course. Okay, so I think I'm done with everything. So I got the RGB fan on that side, although it won't be RGB at this moment since I don't have that special hub. Uh, got two fans and the radiator up there. Triple fan up front. Had to install this other bracket in order to do the top uh, fan. Got the RGB strip along the side. These two fans are RGB in like a circle, but nothing else. SSD, HDD down there. Power supply. Graphics card. Everything. Everything is all good. Do a little quick spin. I even did some more cable management. And now I have two fan hubs because this one originally comes with the uh, Cooler Master Master Case Maker 5. I, I believe that was what it was called. This has a super long name. Anyways, then this is the Corsair uh, Commander Pro. This one you need to uh, run all the stuff in the software instead of just pressing buttons that's like high and low fan and then on and off LED. This one you can control all the fans and speeds and then the RGBs if you have LEDs and RGB and all that stuff like that. So yeah, it's a lot better than just this basic fan hub. But I plugged them both in just, just cause. Stuffed everything down in the basement down there. So, let's turn it on. That was a weird sound for a second there. I tightened the fans and hopefully that'll fix the noise that my radiator was having because the noise was unbearable at any speed. And then my two RGB fans from Thermal Take. All three fans are spinning. I should say all five fans are spinning. And we're good. So let me put it all back together and then it up again all right so this has been running for about three days now uh, I did have a few problems here and there and you can see it is slightly different so first I thought it was a little bit bland so I put some Pikachu figures in there one Pikachu amiibo and then just a couple different Pikachu figures even the original Pikachu uh, I did want to put some other anime figures in there but I don't know I just it couldn't really fit right the, the ones that I really liked but yeah and I still have my RGB strip right along here we're just shooting the the beams that way <laughs> and I only or I have the three fans on the front but they're only cooler master fans instead of the two RGB thermal take fans just wanted to kind of consolidate it and I didn't I don't want to just have two out of the three fans RGB and that one's supposed to be an RGB fan but I still need a Corsair hub with the RGB with the special Corsair RGB fans and all that stuff for it to work. I have two fans on the radiator. So um, I try to use the Corsair utility. Well, it wasn't the Corsair utility thing. I, I don't even know what the hell they're calling it now. Corsair Link. I try to use that to control my fans. I had it on quiet, but the fans were so damn loud. And I was like, what the heck? And then the CPU temperature got really, really freaking high. And I was like, what? So I, you know, messed with that a little bit more. I put that on performance and then the CPU temperature started going well. And then I was like, oh, so like the case fans aren't really working in conjunction with like the CPU fans and radiator along with Corsair Link and that Corsair Commander or something. So I, you know, uh, remanaged the cables here and there and uh, put everything to that Corsair Commander Pro. And now the case, the radiator, CPU block, everything is all linked up, so it's all good. And the only RGB is this one RGB strip. And everything's running good now. Um, I might try and think of putting something right there. I do kind of miss my Blu-ray drive, although I have, you know, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, all just right here. And, you know, a lot of things are digital anyways, but of course, discs are a lot better quality than digital, so yeah. And I just got Star Wars on 4K. I still haven't even seen this. I missed it in the theaters. Anyways, <clears throat> just gonna end the video right there. Just another little PC tech vlog, a little uh, update and maintenance. Might do another update vlog 
you know, if I decide what the heck I'm gonna do with my drive. I was kind of thinking about just routing the cables like through the back or something and then just putting it on the top. But yeah, that's kind of stupid. Uh, we'll, we'll just see. Uh, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Or if you want to see more snugs. Always getting in my way. And uh, subscribe to my channel and stuff. If you want to see more tech, video games, and all that. See you guys later.